Today is hamstring focused. So last week, pretty much last week, I aggravated my disc. So it's been about yeah, seven days, uh, eight days actually, specifically. And so far it's been good, back to normal again. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of a different modified workout because of my disc, which usually I usually would do hip thrusters. That's how I got injured. So I'm not trying to do the same movement that caused that injury. I'm going to be doing a modified version of a single dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. So usually I'll do the barbell. And, um, you know, if you've seen in other videos, I do the RDLs. I'm going to be doing single leg dumbbells. And I've tried it, uh, give or take, like three or four days ago. And it felt pretty good. So that actually doesn't mess with my disc. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to build off of that until I feel like I'm back to 90 to 100%, then I'm gonna be able to do probably back to my normal schedule for hip thrusters and um, barbell RDLs. So let's get to it. All right, we're gonna be doing 80 pounds. Hoping to get around the 10 to 12 rep range with these guys. Still trying to get used to this movement, but I feel like I have a good grasp on it. We're gonna try 60s. Oh, I hate it when you feel a little discomfort. It throws your rhythm off, you know, when you're all like pumped up, ready to kill it. But it happens. Whew. Right, let's try this. Yeah, I should. Kind of wanted to train my forearms, but I definitely started losing grip and losing that like tension and focus. So I'm gonna use the, the wrist straps next in the next set. So far, it feels good. Yeah, I needed to go lighter and just higher reps and really just control and feel the weight over I'm trying to go heavy as. Per usual, I want to go heavy. Patience, young grandpa. Patience. Decent. Definitely have a lot more uh, in the tank. Like that's the issue. My lower back can't handle much weight, and it gets fatigued fast. 
which is it's not the lower back, it's the disc, right? The tissue is pretty fragile. But my legs, my obviously my hamstrings can hand, handle a heavy load. So it's like, oh, I want to do heavy so it can stimulate the hamstrings, but oh, sorry, I can't because the lower back can't handle it. So yeah, it's, it's a frustrating feeling, but you know, I just got to give it time to heal. Um, and so, you know, high reps, controlling the weights, making sure you're not giving it room to fuck up. Yeah, maybe using the wrist straps on the next one. I, I, I lost my grip on that one. Gosh, 20 reps takes the wind out of me. Uh. pretty good yeah so these are feeling a lot smoother yeah Just check the ego because sometimes it's always like ah, I want to do more but sometimes you really got to listen to your body and just trust in doing lighter weights but making sure you're doing it with a better control and better form in general because I know and yeah because I know soon enough I won't have I won't have to be doing these to get to my main workouts once my injury is healed so don't rush yourself when you're injured take your time so I got distracted a little bit talking to a good friend of mine that I saw here earlier but I already hit two sets of walking lunges I'm doing 60 pounds and uh, about 12 reps and so far it's like 
pretty smooth, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna push for 15 reps this time. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be struggling on this one. So let's see how it goes. Fifteen. Oh. Oh. Those feel really good. Whew. My legs are burning. To be honest, I feel like lunges, walking, specifically walking lunges, it really activates everything, especially your heart rate. It's, it's like doing cardio and squats at the same time. Um, Oh man, oh God, it burns. Hoo -wee. Yeah, I, I think to be honest, I love I love walking lunges. Uh, it's the love and hate relationship because one of those movements where, like, you know, it's really just engaging every single fiber in your legs, all the way from your glutes to your hamstrings to your quads. And the, the method that I'm doing for this walking lunges is made for quad, for my quadriceps. So these guys here, um, I do a, a slight, more of a, like a slight lean. So just to show you guys real quick, when I do these, there's different ways that you can do it. It depends on what you want to target. Uh, I know a lot of people tend to do the, the more wider stretch where the wider you go, the more it's gonna utilize this part of your glutes and your hamstrings. So it, it depends on the goal of what you want. For me, I'm doing more quad dominant, so I wanna feel it more. So what I do is I don't go all the way out. I tend to keep a small little step, see that distance there? And I'll, I'll have a slight lean forward. And when I'm holding the dumbbells, the dumbbells are literally right beside the quad. And I'm doing this, boom. And it's just, you just purely feel it on your quads. It's insane. Just like that, bam, right? See that difference from here to this here. See now all I'm feeling more is this unit here. So yeah, it just depends on what muscle you want to hit. And then pretty much work your way up slowly. You know, I started around like 45s, 50s, to then 55s, and then now I'm 60s and I'm doing 60 for 15 reps. So on my heavy days, I most likely will go up to 70s or 75 for about eight to 10 reps. So I got one more set. Ooh wee. Yeah, one more set, and then we're gonna move on to, um, I have to check my program, <laughs> since I'm always like mixing it up because of my injury. So we'll uh, move on to the next workout. Oh. <sighs> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah, uh, uh, 
Oh my. Yeah, yeah, excuse me for my loud breathing. Oh. Yeah, so you could see the intensity, like that was like my all on that last set almost. You usually wanna be, you usually wanna be at least one rep shy, as long as it's like two to one rep shy where it's like, it's getting really hard. That's where the growth happens. Oh shit. Oh God. Our sets between eight to 12. Let's see, let's see what we're gonna do for these. One. Yeah, I need more stretch. Oh yeah. Six. Eight. It's real good, real good. Whew. Yeah, so I did a 43 kilograms for 12 reps. And I'm actually really happy how, how these felt because I used a different, because this has a lot of different adjustments and you have to just fine tune it to the point where it, it just matches your body. And I've always had a hard time finding the right positioning for it. And now I felt like I just, like I hit the nail on the head for this one. So I really feel like my hamstrings really used. So yeah, it's, this feels really good. Um, I'd, I'd say probably the this machine and this, the uh, laying on your stomach machine where you have the legs, you know, come back and you pull with the legs with the hamstrings. Those are probably my two favorite and pretty much only machine that most commercial gyms have for your hamstrings. So yeah, I'd, I'd highly recommend incorporating those on your leg days. So I do legs twice a week and I typically always have one or the other, the laying ham curl machine or the seated leg ham curl. And yeah, like these are like the beautiful accessory work that you want to use after you do your compound lifts like but there's like romanian deadlifts regular deadlifts lunges hack squats squats pretty much your big lifts is typically what i do first that that requires the most energy and then you pretty much fine tune and stick to the the, the more single muscle workouts that'll uh really just fatigue your muscle and uh, help it grow all right, I'm gonna do set number two. And from there, we're gonna do leg extensions after. Uh, well, I'm mainly just showing you guys about two sets of each, just so sometimes it takes a lot of time. Um, so I'm just trying to move on to each workout. So yeah, second set, and then uh, we'll be on to the next one. Let's go. Uh. Ah. 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 
Oh. Yeah. 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 It feels so good when you like, like towards the end where you just can tell your muscles. It's like, it's like pulling a rubber band and like the, like you pull on the rubber band so much that it's so loose that it doesn't, it can't like generate force. I don't know. There's something about that feeling. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stretching that motherfucker out. I just keep stretching it. Ah, uh, gosh. Ooh We're at leg extensions. So we're going to be doing four sets of 70.5 kilograms and hoping I can hit between 10 to 15. Let's do it. Uh, let's see how this four. Uh, eh. Eight. Nine. Eh. Ah, hoo wee, fifteen. Burns. Oh, Whew. giving you a little different angle here. Um, let's check out like the quads while it's getting hit. I'm gonna put the focus properly here. All right, there we go. Fifteen. Oh. Woo. Woo. Just finished up the leg extensions. Man, they feel really good. So now we're going to do single leg hamstring curl machines here. Um, I'm going to do 30 pounds. For some reason, you can go super light, but it's really heavy on this machine. So I'm going to try 30 pounds and see what I can do. Um, on this top set here. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, 30 pounds is way too heavy. Fuck. All right, I'm going to try 20s. It seems like, again, I'm, I'm so used to doing more of like the controlling it all the way up and all the way down. But I could tell like this machine, you need to like add that extra momentum to make it go up properly. So I'm going to figure this out a little bit. Ah. <sighs> 
Not bad, the 10. I'm also going to be super sitting a little bit with some abs too. So these are like my favorite ab crunch workout. Um, to be honest, it takes a while to master and get used to. But if you want to start doing these at your gym, typically you want to do two. Your knees can be close, spread apart, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And you want to crunch in like a roly poly. You don't want to just do like lower back like this. I mean, there's definitely different methods, but I like doing the roly poly method where I really scrunch in. Oh. Oh. 15 reps. Pretty solid. Finishing off with some calf raises. I want to do donkeys, but I can tell it gets a little uncomfortable sitting on my lower back. So we got a 45 and a 35 on right now. Let's see how it feels. Yep, gotta go a little bit heavier. One. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh. Oh God. Jeez. Yeah. It's way too dark. You can barely see anything, but whatever. All right. Set number two. Go for fifteen again.
Lemon. <sighs> Shit. My foot placement was a little off, so it kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm gonna try to do a few more reps here. Gosh. Twelve. Uh, so, yeah, that was my leg day. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. Uh, I love you.